Hi everybody, it's Lisa from The Scented Life and I am so excited to finally have my sound issues fixed um, and get this YouTube going. Um, I am, I'm just really excited to finally be doing this. I've been trying video after video, it just wasn't working, kept putting it off, um, but I think we've got the issues fixed. So. Um, I just wanted to jump on here. This is my first wax haul video and it's Midnight Daydream Wax Co. So I just wanted to show um, and share my latest Midnight Daydream Wax Co. order. Um, so let's get it started. Okay, so the one thing um, I did miss out on the Halloween Town, um, but new to the shop are... Uh, the body creams and the one I did pick up was strawberry cake noel strawberry jam cake and vanilla bean noel and so I have already tried this it smells absolutely delicious but I wanted to get on here it soaks into the skin really well and so for this particular scent, this one's not like a ripe, um, you know, like green or fresh strawberry. It's like a cooked down sugary, cakey strawberry. And you get that vanilla bean Noel in there. It's nice and sweet. So if that's your jam, that's definitely a good one to match. Um, I got the room and body spray. This is actually body safe. And it's strawberry marshmallow fluff cake. And it's also got that strawberry jam. Let's see if I can get that on there. Yeah, it's homemade white cake, fresh strawberry jam, and marshmallow fluff. This one is also amazing. They go really well together. So I nab those. Then, let's see. Then I did grab, um, I, was, I love strawberry scents. I love berry scents, blackberry, um, strawberry, and I don't have as many in my arsenal because I went through a lot of them for summer, spring, so I wanted to kind of re-up. So he's offering the four ounce cups in some scents, not all of them, um, and this one's strawberry jam cake and white chocolate macadamia nut cookies strawberry macadamia cookies yeah you definitely get the I mean the cooked down strawberry jam in here but it's it's almost not as dense as it is in these scents because it's kind of toned down with the macadamia nut cookies it still smells absolutely delicious but the white chocolate and the macadamia nut you do get a nuttiness in this And I'm actually really excited to try that one because I have not tried that scent before. Let's see. So some of the two ounce scent shots that I got, I got the pumpkin ice box cookies, which is pumpkin pie and lemon ice box cookies. This is one I also have not tried yet but it's really, really good. Um, you do get the sweet lemon cookie, um, but there is a touch of, it's not super heavy cinnamon or pumpkin pie spice, but you are getting a touch of it in there. And it, um, again, that could change on warming, but this one is really good. If you like lemon, if you like sweet lemon, this one is delicious. I'm excited to try this one out in the warmer see so I got the next one was the boogeyman which is cinnamon crunch frosting vanilla butter fudge and blueberry cobbler so this one just going based on the scent notes I've never tried this one before on cold you definitely get the cinnamon crunch frosting um, it's not like heavy, heavy cinnamon, like, you know, you got a whole cinnamon stick in there. 
but it is like a sweet cinnamon and you definitely get a touch of that blueberry cobbler like that sweet bakery blueberry but it's not super super heavy on blueberry um but it still smells really good really delicious i'm curious to see um if that actually comes out if the blueberry comes out even more with warming which could happen as well again you can get some differences from cold and warming so the next one was kind of just i wasn't sure what to think about it um i had a feeling it would be good but the notes i wasn't sure it's orange cream latte so it's vanilla cream latte with a hint of orange citrus so this one is really really good like um it's got a lot it's a creamy latte scent and you do get that sweet orange in there and i was just surprised at how well these go together um i wasn't sure what to think i was like oh i'm intrigued let's give it a try and i'm happily surprised so excited to try that one the next one is lemon muffin claws which is bear claws and lemon poppy seed muffins sorry by the way uh, <laughs> i'm in my backyard and there are people working on the houses next door so apologies if you're hearing background noise um i definitely get i mean on cold I definitely get the lemon poppy seed muffin. I get like the lemon bakery and there may be a touch of the bear claw, but um, to me, bear claws are like, they're like an almond, right? Um, they got that almond in there. I'm not getting like a big almond scent in here, but I still like it. It's really nice. I love lemon scents. I love lemon bakery scents and citrus bakery scents. So yeah, I was kind of on a roll with that. With the fruit and the lemon scents in the bakery um so this one uh, is dia de los muertos and it's withering moroccan roses graveyard dirt muguet and musk um this is one that actually my sister-in-law had ordered um previously and she we you know will basically sit around and smell wax melts and share and talk about them and um, this is one I just really, really liked. Um, really beautiful scent. And I just knew that with my next order, if it was available, I was going to grab it. So this one. So there's, uh, just like with st strawberry, you know, you get the cooked down strawberry, but you can get a fresh strawberry. This is one you definitely get the withering roses. You get a dried rose scent. Now it doesn't mean it smells just like a potpourri or just like a basket of roses, um, but there's a difference between that and a fresh rose scent to me. And this one, you definitely get that just really pretty dried rose scent. You get the a little bit of freshness and the musk and it mixes in and you do get a little touch of the the dirt it's just really pretty if you like rose scents though i mean you're gonna this is what i'm smelling on cold so if you're into rose scents this is just really a good one i had to grab it and i'm so happy i finally have it can't wait to try that one so he did send me a couple samples um harrison from midnight he's really sweet and he sends out samples um sorry guys so um this one is patchouli rain oh is it I'm trying to get it to anyways patchouli rain apples grapevines sprigs of rosemary and rose petals this one i'm definitely getting some patchouli rain but it's not just like there's a greenness to it. You are getting a greenness, and I'm assuming that's the grapevines and the rosemary. 
Um, it's not heavy, heavy rosemary, but it's something is blended in there. Getting a little touch. Of rose um, and the apple but yeah this is really good I I like all different kinds of scents and that is right up my alley with um, notes that I like um, he also sent me a sample of tree hugger I don't know what is going on here guys sorry um, this is dark earthy notes cedar ginseng vetiver and vanilla I just can't have to keep smelling it because it smells really good. But um, I guess first and foremost, I mean, you do get an earthiness and I'm getting the vetiver. Um, I'm not quite sure what ginseng smells like on its own. I'm going to have to check that out. It might bring a freshness to it is what I would think. Um, it's not super vanilla heavy. Uh, if that is, it's a background note. It kind of smoothing it out a little bit. But yeah, that's really nice so I'm liking that one um, and then last but not least one of the sets that I did get was the the Palo Santo Palo remastered set um, this is one that I really wanted to get um, and I'm glad I was able to grab it um, so it came in six and they're all Roman numerals so it's all numbered so I'm gonna go over these so the first one is Palo One, which is Palo Santo and tobacco smoked leather. Um, I will admit, and if you follow me on in if you follow me on Instagram, um, you'll know that I'm just kind of warming up to tobacco scents, um, especially if they were super heavy tobacco or leather actually was another one but I will say that since trying Midnight's blends with it in it I'm coming around to them more and I'm actually really enjoying them and this is one of them um I haven't worn this yet but other blends that he's done with tobacco and leather I have just really come to enjoy and I've actually branched out and started trying them from other vendors as well um and I think sometimes it's our noses do change, our senses change, and, you know, it's good to try new things, at least in my opinion, because you may not like something that you used to like and vice versa. So this one, really, really nice, really pretty. Um... I mean, the namesake is perfect. The Palo Santo and Tobacco Smoke Leather. You're getting those notes in there. Um, I'm excited to see how it does on warming and what comes out. But it's it's almost got a... I wouldn't say it's like a soap, but it's kind of like a soap. Like a little bit of soapiness um, in there. So, yeah. So, there's number one. Uh, Palo 2, which is Palo Santo, Mac Apples, and Southern Sweet Tea. I am a big fan of apple and tea blends, and the Palo Santo in this just kicks it off. It is wonderful. So if, if um, you're definitely getting the apple, the Mac Apple, and some tea, and it is kind of a sweet tea. I mean, you're smelling a sweetness. And that Palo Santo just rounds it out just wonderfully. I am, I really like this one. So number three is Palo Santo, Santal, and Salty Mariner. This one, I, and you definitely get the salty ocean scent, um, but with the other notes in there, it almost borders on a cologne type, but not a heavy cologne. So it's not, um, I mean, it may change with warming, but on cold, I'm definitely getting 
a cologne vibe. It's a really nice cologne too. <laughs> so, yeah. So Palo 4 is Palo Santo, Oud, and Birchwood, Black Rose Petals, and Earthy Incense. So as you noticed before, I do like rose scents. Um, that's another one that actually grew on me over time. I didn't used to like them as much, and now I really do like them. So with this one, it's not super heavy rose though. Definitely getting some woody notes, some earthiness, some incensey, but it's not like incensey like a like a nog champa. Um, but you're definitely getting the vibe of it. Um, if there's something, there, maybe there's something to compare this to, like a scent or a perfume or a cologne, but I don't know. <laughs> it smells really good though. Um, and I don't know personally the difference between black rose petals and if there's a scent oil. Um, so I'm not personally sure on that one, but um, it is a little touch of rose. It's not super heavy rose um, as compared to like this one is more rose. Um, but it's a really nice blend. So if you like those notes, it's a really good one. Um, all right. Palo 5. Uh, Palo Santo, Blue Sugar, Caramel Tobacco, and Sweet Lavender. So here's another tobacco one. Um, or with notes of tobacco in it. Um, and I did smell these before. So for this one, I definitely get the sweet lavender and blue sugar first on cold. I'm getting some of the Palo Santo and the caramel tobacco seems to just round it out. Um, not that it's not present, but it's kind of smoothing everything out is what I want to say. And I mean, it could change again with warming. So... Yeah, I do get a touch of the caramel, um, but I do first, like on first cold sniff, I would say the blue sugar and the sweet lavender come out, but I'm excited to see how that will turn out with warming. And Palo 6, which is Palo Santo and vanilla cupcakes. This is like vanilla cupcakes extra like it's not um i wouldn't say you're getting like a super heavy frosting like super sugar uh, but you do get a vanilla cakey sweetness and the palo santo is rounding that out um, and just giving it this extra and it's really nice i like that one um so yeah, so I just, you know, I've been, I've been really wanting to get this going. I was having sound issues, got my phone upgraded, got some changes going on. Um, and I just really wanted to share this. I did get this a while back, but again, I was trying to tape it a few times and it just was not working for me. So, um, yeah, it just wasn't working, but I think I've got it all figured out. So Thank you for joining me. Thank you for having patience in me getting some videos going. Um, I do have other things planned and other things I want to share. And I'm really excited to have this um, other avenue to share with you guys. Um, I really love this community. I've met some amazing people in it. And so I'm just excited to be a part of that and just have my space for it. Um, and get to see others in their space and what they get to share. So thank you for joining me and you guys have a great day. Bye.